Hello and welcome to the Brony House. I am your host, Lucky Knight. We're proud to have Typhoon Speed, con chair for Alicon, Australia's premier Brony convention, two years running, going into 2020 for third. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me on. Make sure your drinks are to the left. It's Viva Reverie from Brony's React and Animator Extraordinaire. Hello. Welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> We also welcome Cherry Sparks, multi-convention volunteer and guest coordinator for Brony Scott. Hello. Hi. As well as my co-host, Midnight Scribe from Creative Vibes, Flipply Fopped, and marketing manager for Brony Scott. Hey, what is there I don't do? Well, not sleep right now, apparently. So it's good to be here, Lucky. Fantastic. And it has been a while, and yeah, you certainly have a lot on your plate. I have a lot in my cup right now as well. I've got a nice mug of tea going here. This brings us to round one. Show must go on. This is our trivia question round, so get your thinking caps ready, every pony, every creature, everyone, or every universe, depending where you are. Starting off with Typhoon Speed. Here are your questions. What is the name of the Flim Flam Brothers Apple Machine? Super Sidey Squeezy 6000? Super Speedy Sidey Squeezy Oh no! 6000. <laughs> And Viva goes for the steal and takes the answer. Question two. Fill the blanks. Swarm of the blank, blank for success. Swarm of the century and suited for success. That is correct. And here comes your three point question. Name three pets of the main six. Winona, Owlicious, and Angel. That is correct. Viva Reverie, here are your questions. Okay. What is the name of Cranky Doodle's Bride? Uh, Matilda. Cherry goes for the steal yeah. and takes it. V for every. Yeah. Complete the blanks. Lesson blank, blank eclipsed. Lesson zero, Luna eclipsed. Is everyone having fun so far? Yeah, sure yeah. am. I've got the most points. <laughs> I'm... If I say I'm enjoying myself, do I get a bonus point? No. In that case, I'm not <laughs> enjoying the show. <laughs> doesn't add much. Even one point would be nice, because I know I ain't getting any in this round. Well, <laughs> name three species other than ponies. Griffin, Hippogriff, Steel, Changeling. Changeling. Oh, I said Changeling. Viva, what was your third answer? Changeling. I'm going to give Viva all those answers. Ty, just a little too quick on that buzzer. Darn it. Think about ten things that are not Skrillex. <laughs> 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 That's what that felt like to me. <laughs> Moving into Cherry Sparks questions. Oh boy! Oh yeah! Why are we saying that as like you're in some sort of 1940s adventure? Like, oh boy, I can't believe I'm going on an adventure! Ha ha! Ha ha! like, with the Mickey Mouse laugh behind me, this joke that I had with her friends. It's like, there's a reason why Mickey never turned to darkness. He had the greatest power of all. Capitalism! <laughs> <laughs> How much wing power is needed to get water to Cloudsdale? 795. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Who goes for the steal? Steal 1,000. That is also incorrect. Is it 4,000? Thank you, everyone, for your answers. The answer I was looking for was 800 wing power. I was close. <laughs> you actually were ridiculously close, Cherry. I thought it was either going to be a round number or something obscure, so I decided let's go for the obscure one. I should have trusted my gut on this. 800 would not be like a guess. I thought it'd be a round number as well. The show surprises us all, even after it ended. Complete the blanks. Rock, blank, friendship, a blank problem. Rock solid friendship. Oh, a royal problem. Yep, Viva went for the steal with that one. <laughs> it's a Starlight Glimmer episode, no wonder I didn't remember it. Name three of the student six. Yona, Gallus, Silverstream. That is correct. Hooray! Woo! Yona best! <laughs> and to finish off round one, Midnight Scribe, my co-host, here are your questions. <laughs> this is the sound of painting too. What was the alias used by the CMC for the full free press. Gummy Gabs. Wait, steal Gabby Gums. Oh! Sorry about that, Ty. You were on the right track, but you had to just swap it around, and Cherry has taken the steal. I was so close. I'm a Gooby Gams, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're all uh... Gooby Gams. Complete the blanks. Scare blank, the blank attraction. Uh, oh god, uh... Scare master, the yeah, main master. attraction. Yeah, you got it first. Two points stolen by Typhoon Speed. I can't get my own questions, but I can steal others. And that's how Equestria was made. <laughs> <laughs> Name three My Little Pony Friendship is Magic villains. Uh, oh, uh, Discord. Uh, in Skeletor. Oh, I'm so tired. Chrysalis. Uh, 
Hear it. May I offer a ruling, Lucky? Yeah. I would like to donate all three of my points to charity. Aww. That's very nice, Midlet Scribe. Not sure of the points in this game. It's valid currency. Every time I lose points, I say, never mind, those go to charity. <laughs> <laughs> now for a quick score check after round one. And this brings us to round two, Pixelated. As premiered at the Brony House panel at Alicon 2018, our players need to decipher a pony from a, well, pixelated image. If a player is able to jump in on the very first try, they'll get three points. The second reveal, two points. And if they're waiting for the full reveal, one point. Steals are welcome, so let's get to it. That's Applejack. Wow! Well done, Cherry Sparks. That is correct. Flourish, eh? Oh, that was so close! According to my ears, Midnight Scribe was in first. That must be by nearly anything. Literally by a nose. Let's hope that the next one's a little bit more challenging. You can tell our bronies are brony experts. Zakora. Well done, Viva Reverie. Yes, it was Zakora. Yeah, wow, I would have never got that. Discord. That is incorrect. Oh, um, oh, Groga. Also incorrect. Should we have another reveal? Oh, that's Lauren Faust, Pern. About the halfway mark of round two. Pinky? How did you get that? How? If you're wondering what a brony is, that's a brony. Even for a piece of fan art that's pixelated beyond belief, there it is. Discord. That is incorrect. Burger. Should we have another review? Starsworld. It is Starsworld the Bearded. Congratulations, hey. Typhoon Speed. Nabs three points. Rarity? Punk rarity. That is 100% correct! Yes, it's not just rarity, and yes, it is punk rarity. Congratulations! Yay! I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing up our last bat for a pixel edit. Discord. This is really close to call, but I'm going to rely on the flashing circles on my screen. Cherry Sparks and Midnight Sky. And that brings us to a close of round three. Here's a quick score check. And this brings us to round three, Sounds Right. Valued at two points each, our players need to not only guess the song, but also the artist, and steals are most welcome. Here we go. We have Legos by Mando Pony. <laughs> Snap! Yes, Cherry Sparks, that is correct. Of all the years we've done this game, I've never seen someone that fast on Sounds Right. That is fast as who first, if I ever saw one. The best feathers fall And they fly above the clouds Laughing Dancing like butterflies. Why can't I Is it Crusader? No, it's not Crusader. I don't know what it is, but it has a good swing to it. It looks like I've stumped the players at that one. That was Wings Keep Me Grounded by Arts Fonseca. Yes, as pointed out, he's got a nice sort of swing jazzy style. You know what? There's one thing that I have remembered, you know, because you and I have hosted, you know, various versions of this. <laughs> and, you know, and, and what I realize is that they've been doing pony stuff for five years and I know nothing. What was the name of your podcast? <laughs> Creative Vibes, a show where I interview people in the <laughs> fandom. Ask about what they do. And do I know anything about creative things in the fandom? Apparently not. To be fair, Midnight, the amount of content that's been created is huge. A player will surely get this one, but this is more of a brony classic. I should also point out, you can stick around to the very end of the clip, and usually the title is revealed. About that time, I get on home. I got 
Work ahead of me? Yes, that is the title. Congratulations, Midnight Scribe. One point to you. Yeah? I didn't know the song. I just skipped to the end and all the caps oh! <laughs> I'm going to hold my hooves up. I'm sorry. I admire your honesty, but I think I'm going to disqualify you for skipping ahead. No. <laughs> and of course, I wouldn't have known that unless you just, <laughs> unless you say it. Does anyone care to say the artist? The artist I was looking for was Woodlore. Looks like I've stumped the players with that one. That was Ponies in Love by Tenderflutter. <laughs> and... Is it by the shakeups? Yes, it is by the shakeups. One point to you, Ty. The shakeups have a really distinctive sound. They really do. I like to think it's a combination of the Beatles and the B-52s and good old fashioned surfer rock. The Beatle 52s. <laughs> and the song title was The Worst Possible Thing. Actually, the song that I originally found out about the shakeups. Certainly our players will pick up this song. This is a rockin' classic. Soldiers of the Night. Cover by... It is Soldiers of the Night, but it's not a cover, it is the original. I can't remember who did the original, I can remember the covers, but not the original! There were a lot of covers done of this song. It does sound like Goonies version, that's the worst part. Support him on Patreon. Congratulations, Cherry, for scoring that single point. The artist I was looking for is Slipstorm. <laughs> Alright, guys, second last track for Sounds Right. Yeah, I'm blank on this one too, guys. I want to say Catastrophe, but I know that's wrong. And you're right, that is wrong. What I was looking for was the Stairmaster by the Wonderbolts. <laughs> Let's hope our players will get lucky with this final track. I'll get it if it's one of the three songs I know. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you animate the polka? I did! That's one of the three songs I know! I'll keep that in mind for next time, Viva. <laughs> <laughs> It's just songs from artists from Trotter. As a bit of a hint, this is on the Fallout Equestria soundtrack by the Wasteland Whalers. I've heard the song, I just don't know what it is. Yeah, that's a note from me. Bringing round three to a close on a somber note, Whole Lot of Magic by Haymaker Pony. <laughs> Not too much magic in that round, but better luck next time.
And this brings us to our final round, The Pony Generator. A game that almost brought down the house at Alicorn 2018 at the Brony House panel, our players need to create a backstory based on a random OC using the Pony Generator by General Zoi on DeviantArt. This round is worth 13 points, which means anyone can win. Typhon Speed, enlighten us. So this is Sir Batsalot. They grew up in Cloudsdale as a regular Pegasus, you know, just a normal pony, before moving to Ponyville, realizing that they really like bats. They didn't have regular bat wings to grow up with. They actually got those by flying around during the Fruitback Saga of uh, Season 4 and then crashed into one of the trees so hard that a bit of a morphing situation happened. So they've got bat wings ever since. They've just had a smile on their face. They're super happy with their new life and their new bat wings. They can't wait and they don't really know what to do. They'd like to be bat pony and, and be a superhero, but they're realizing that maybe that's not a real job. Viva Reverie, let's hear your interpretation. This OC, her name is Miss Tall Up in the sky, tall first name, up in the sky surname. She is a dragon not horse, which is a horse except they have dragon eyes because you know, dragon not horses look like that. She's a hairstylist, which is why she has the fancy get up with her mane, but you might notice that she doesn't have a cutie mark. The reason why she doesn't have a cutie mark is it was burned off in the war. At least that's what she says. That's also why she's got all these burn marks. She was burned in the War of the Up in the Skies, which was a dinner family civil war thing. They were just like complaining a lot and then they <laughs> lit each other on fire. The little thing above her lip, that's an ink stash. It's like a milk stash, except she drinks ink. So that's Miss Tall Up in the Sky. Cherry Sparks. So my pony decided it would be a good idea to explore a paint factory. As you can see, that didn't exactly work out for them. But they did find a nice set of mechanical wings that they just decided had to be dark green because that's the bestest color ever. As you can see, they are usually a unicorn, but they like wearing mechanical wings because who doesn't want to be a princess? Midnight. This uh, lovely character is called Fluporn. Fluporn is a paramour fan who is stuck with a permanent cold. They really, really like the colour red, which is why they never wear any. And they really love blue cheese. This is going to be really tricky. Some really good backstories here for some really bad OCs. I'm going to defer to the judges, which is me. It is a tough call between Midnight Scribe and Viva Reverie. Viva Reverie, congratulations on winning the Brony House. Yay! <laughs> I'm happy with that. As winner of the Brony House, you get to have your Princess Celestia on the side table in the Brony House. Congratulations! Thank you. I did this for my family. <laughs> Hooray! Thanks everyone for joining me on the Brony House. Thanks again to my awesome players, Typhoon Speed, Viva Reverie, Cherry Sparks, Midnight Scribe. See you next time on the Brony House. I'm Lucky Knight. Bye! Be for every yep. complete the blanks. All right. Lesson blank blank. A <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a door. <laughs> the ghost has entered the room. <laughs> that was adorable. And again. It's good to know that best friend made an appearance Hell in yeah. this episode. It was <laughs> good to have Apple Jack here. <laughs> That's oh. a weird way of saying Twilight. Okay. Twilight's no one's best pun. <laughs> Don't oh, miss me going through there. Good Listen, I have done five seasons of Creative Vibes. Twilight gets no love, ever. If you did the Brony House panel again, can you please put favor on it? <laughs> okay. I will never forget where there was a, it was a trivia question. And and it was like, uh, complete, the, complete, the, complete the artist or something. I was Viva oh. Reverie. And Viva pops up from behind the vendor hole. It's like, what? <laughs> and then I, <laughs> and then I talked to Viva afterwards. That was a total coincidence. That was just yeah, that was great. <laughs> Let's fly to the castle! Hooray!